In 522 BC, after their harassment throughout the reigns of Cyrus II and Cambius II have been shaken the desire for the Judeans to remain in the city and land, the leaders of the pagans wrote a letter to Shah Bardia concerning the Judeans. Bardia had taken over after Cambius II had passed away. When the letter is translated to the Shah, he orders records to be found concerning the names of the people and the city. The search brings back records of the sedition and rebellion which calls to exile from a political standpoint. The Shah replies that they have his permission to use violence to stop the construction until he himself says otherwise. The enemies follow the order with delight into the dismay and mourning of the Jewish people. Two months later, Shah Bardia was murdered by a member of the lower, lower royal house who became Shah Darius I. As Haggai and Zechariah prophesied to the Judeans in Jerusalem and Yehuda in 521 BC, the spirit of revival begins to flourish again. They resume plans to build. As soon as this revival is known to the enemies, they demand the names of the workers and who gave them permission to resume. Through the royal code Kadesh or Holy Spirit, the Judeans resume anyhow and are, for, are focused on rebuilding the temple. Out of spite for being dismissed, the enemy leaders write a letter to the new Shah Darius I. When the letter is translated to Shah to the Shah, he orders records in the treasury of Babylon to be found concerning the transfer of funds by Cyrus to the Judeans for the purpose of this building project. The official decree is sent back as an excerpt with the reply by Darius. Furthermore, the in Enemies were instructed to withdraw themselves from the Judeans and to assist them by supplying them with young bulls, rams, and lands for burnt offerings, and wheat, salt, wine, and olive oil for the other offerings. Whoever dared to defy the royal order were to be sentenced to death. On February 19th, 516 BC, the Beit HaMakadash, or temple, was completed. At the dedication, 100 young bulls, 200 rams, and 400 lambs are offered as a burnt offering, and 12 male goats are offered as a sin offering, one for each tribe. They consecrated the Kohenim, or priests, in their divisions according to Torah and David's organization. All those that meet the requirement for purity for Pesach celebrate it from March 31st to April 7th. In 486 BC, in accordance with protocol, Shah Darius I chose his heir prior to leaving to vanquish an Egyptian rebellion, knowing that this expedition could very well be his last. Naming his son Xerxes as his heir, he left for Egypt, delaying his plans for invasion of the Greek city-states again. In October 486 BC, Shah Darius I was laid in his tomb in accordance with his pagan beliefs. He was succeeded by his son Xerxes I. In 485 BC, the Egyptian rebellion is vanquished by Shah Xerxes I and reduced to being a lower status.